Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to the Super Mario Odyssey postgame. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, we have one more thing we need to do here, and this is where we're going to be doing our kingdom backtracking as well. But uh, there are a bunch of hint art here. Uh, there are actually ten pieces of hint art. So we need to figure out where these locations are. And then, of course, we're going to do a another revisit. It's going to be a much quicker revisit, though, since, uh, you know, we don't have much left aside from just picking these up. And if we have anything else, we can pick up. But, yeah, that's essentially what we're going to be doing now. So let's actually look at these hentar pieces, and I'll let you know where they are. And then we'll have a little montage of us going back to those certain kingdoms to get what we have left. So here we have a piece of hentar on the ground. If we can read it properly, there we go. Okay, this looks like to be the Ruined Kingdom. So let's go ahead and take a picture of that. Just so we know what we're looking for. Here we got one. This, I believe, is the Lake Kingdom? It is actually good that we go back there, because we have to get that uh, a costume moon as well. Uh, here we have... This is actually the Lost Kingdom. This is... I remember actually um, almost being confused that this was the um, Sand Kingdom at one point, but no, this is the Lost Kingdom. Thankfully, it's not as hard as you'd think to find that, <laughs> but it is kind of a very obscure one, to say the least. Okay, so we found three. Um, okay, I've got that one already. Oh, wait, oh, that's that's a Rosalina, um, Rosalina thing up there. They put her in. <laughs> they put her in. Okay. Um, come on, don't jump. This is the Luncheon Kingdom. The funny thing about this one is this is kind of a spot the difference. Where's Waldo type of thing. You just look for like what's actually different here, and like whatever is different is the location. Um, I'm trying to see if I can actually find where it is. I'm actually not seeing it yet, believe it or not. I know I will, though. I mean, again, I'll, I'll get this at some point. But yeah, basically, there's there's one thing in these pictures where it's, you know, not the same in the other pictures. So just scan through the picture and see if you can figure it out. I'm... Surprisingly, still not seeing it. Uh, <laughs> I swear, I can either be really good at these, or my eyes can be absolutely terrible. Okay, no, I see it. I see it. Look in the uh, second picture. In the top right, there's like a light blue guy that's not on the other picture. So that's what that one is. But yeah, that's four. Um... Okay, that's the Lost Kingdom. We just saw that one. And again, I don't think these activate until you actually look at the hint art, so keep that in mind. Um, I believe this is the Cloud Kingdom. I know it looks like one of those old-fashioned telephone things, but nope. Uh, this is the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, we're going back to the Mushroom Kingdom, even. This is the Snow Kingdom. And that is an ambulance, or a fire truck, or some kind of emergency vehicle you probably hear outside. Uh, <laughs> that is not relevant to what we're doing now, but... If you were wondering where the hell that sound was coming from, I figured I'd let you know. Uh, let's see, we got... This, this is um, the Metro Kingdom. This is the Cascade Kingdom. I've already lost track of, like, how many. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, guys. I was doing so well. 
Like, I know there's at least two more we have to find. I thought I just bounced off of that guy. Wait, is this one? Oh, no, that, that's, that's the Metro Kingdom one. Maybe further back? No, no, I don't think we've, I don't think we've seen this one. Uh, this is, <laughs> this might seem kind of cryptic, but this is the Seaside Kingdom. And let me just count. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yeah, this is ten, so okay, we've gotten all of them. So there we go, we have all the hint art, so now, we're gonna once again do some more backtracking, but... This backtracking is going to be a bit faster. Like, I mean, we won't spend as much time. Um, I guess we can just go straight to the Odyssey. But yeah, we won't spend back, uh, spend too much time at these kingdoms. In fact, there's some kingdoms we're not even going to visit. So, we're just going to go one step at a time as we uh, get these new things we can get. And then after we do all this, we'll... I guess we'll go to the darker side, because that'll be the next thing. Okay, first of all, Cascade Kingdom. Okay, this one's not too hard to figure out. This is quite literally at the highest point of the Cascade Kingdom. So you just find uh, the setting. Where that picture takes place. Okay, it's not that... I think it's this one. Yep. Okay, there we go. That's the first one. Next thing, although this is not one of the hint art that we just found, there is a hint art that I still haven't collected yet that's in the Sand Kingdom. Um, as you can see, it's kind of near the edge next to a cactus and some of those like little desert bushes. Um, basically, what you're looking for is you're looking for this part, part right here. Um... On the map, it's kind of on that, like, small isolated island. And, uh, yeah, that's basically where it is. So you just gotta find it. I don't know why I'm having such trouble finding it, but I'm pretty sure this... Oh, there it is. <laughs> and, yeah, there we go. That was for uh, Bowser's Kingdom. So there we go. Next. Next up, we have the Lake Kingdom. So for this one, you have to go to where there's a bunch of pillars. And as you can see, there's plenty of pillars in this place. And as you can also see, I'm wearing the Spaceman outfit. I'll uh, get into that in just a moment. Um, but yeah, what we have to do here is we have to, well, just pound right here, I think? Or maybe it's here? Okay, it's there. But yeah, that's the first thing we're here for. So we got Dark Side Art 9, but in addition to that, there is another moon that we still have to get here since we didn't have the Spaceman outfit yet. But we have to go back to those clothing sisters that we found earlier. And I believe it's you. Space clothes. There we go. And that will actually do it for the Lake Kingdom. And just to showcase this, yep, we're all done. Okay, next. Okay, we are back at the Cloud Kingdom. And uh, this is basically just the Nimbus Arena. What you have to do is you have to look for, I guess, the right pedestal that has the correct um, moon or sun position on it. And he just ground pound the center of whichever one that is. And uh, I want to say that it's also done with the compass in mind, I believe. So I want to say it's just this one over here. Um, actually, no, it's not. Because it, it wasn't the right phase. I think it's this one. Yep, there we go. So there we go. That's Dark Side Art 4. Next... Okay, we are back at the Lost Kingdom, and now we have to find this ridiculous one. But there is actually another piece of hint art we need to look for, too. But I'll go ahead and do this one first. 
So yeah, what we're looking for is we're looking for the ground to look like this, where it has like even like a little shadow, like um, you know, basically covering that part of the land. And thankfully, this is actually located close to the like beginning of the level, so it's like near the Odyssey, thankfully. But you just have to look for the right. I don't think this is it. No, it's not. But you just have to look for the part of the land that looks like that. It might take you a little bit to find, but... Thankfully they didn't have you, like, looking all over the place for this, because that could have been very, very tedious. I don't think that sits. Here we go. Right here. <clears throat> so there we go. Dark Side Art 7. But, as I mentioned, we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and go back to our pictures here. And see, we have to look at... This is a... P this one. So we're looking for basically a tree that has coin rings around it. <clears throat> kind of close to the ground, uh, you can see a tropical wiggler nearby. It's not too hard to find. <clears throat> In fact, is this? I think. Oh, this is actually it over here. I want to say it's this one. Yep. And that is for the Snow Kingdom. So, okay, we got that one. Well. Let's go back and uh, keep this train rolling, pretty much. Okay, for this one, we're back at the Metro Kingdom. Shouldn't be too hard to find this. You're just looking for the correct uh, floor markings for this. Obviously, the moon is depicted where that is. And yeah, it's actually at this checkpoint flag, too. The checkpoint flag that's over here. And, yep, all I have to do is just ground pound here. There it is. Dark side, art two. Next. Okay, next up, we're back at the Snow Kingdom. We have to go to this particular, looks like an archway. And uh, the one archway I do remember is the one that's like right near the uh, Bound Bowl Championship. So, what we have to do is we have to get up here, get to the top, ground pound, and there we go. Dark Side Art 5. And, well, that's it. Okay, so this is probably the most involved one, if I have to, uh, <laughs> if I have to, uh, um, explain this properly. So, basically, what this one's essentially telling you is you're looking for, basically, these different objects, points of interest, and you follow them in a certain direction and eventually you'll get to your goal which will lead you basically in between two pillars I'm gonna skip all of that because you can probably figure that out without taking that little trip but it, it is kinda cool that it does actually like you know, you know it gives you a puzzle of that nature essentially um, but yeah so, all you do is just go over here, and I believe it's in between these two. Yep, there it is. But yeah, basically, like, you could find, like, each of those objects. Like, Takatu is, like, straight over there. Then you'd go north to, like, one of those viewfinders. Then you'd go this way towards, I guess, three umbrellas. Then you come down here, and yep. There we go. That's how you get that one. But, that's it. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I kind of went into detail with this one already, but basically we're looking for the person that's uh, in one picture but not in the other one. Uh, basically, the top right of the second picture on the right, uh, there's a guy that's not in the first picture in that same location. That's basically where that is. Looks like it's uh, right next to that pillar. So, all we got to do is just uh, go on over there. Pick that up, and then we'll be on our merry little way. 
And I think we're about done, too, so this is getting pretty close to the end. I think we just have two more left to get, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep it up. The developers couldn't possibly leave Crumbledon out of the equation. But yeah, we have another moon here we have to get, so... Um, this one can be kind of... No, I don't want to play Advance Wars, at least not right now, maybe later. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? But, um, yeah, you just gotta look for that. That's really about it. Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure where that is. I feel like I've already passed it. Oh, here it is. There we go. But yeah, I couldn't leave this kingdom out of the fun. But there's uh, Dark Side Art 10. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this rolling because we only have one more to get. And there is actually one more loose end that we can take care of in this kingdom in addition to this. But we needed to do all this other stuff first before we could do this because it very, very loosely tied to what we're doing here. Uh, but yeah, we're going back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Because the last piece of Hentar is based on that. So, let's go ahead. Skip this. We need to go to the little, uh, I guess on foot would be the fastest. But on foot, and there's probably like a, yeah, I could take the scooter, I guess. Whee! And yeah, we have to... I thought it was here, but maybe it's... Not exactly here. We better just look at it, honestly. <laughs> it's probably best we just do that, you know? Um, this one... So yeah, we're looking for... It's actually in between uh, two of those three edges. That's a two. This is a three. Okay, I think it's here. And there we go. That is the last dark side hint art. Just to verify... Yep. Okay, that's it. But hey, we're still missing a moon for Mushroom Kingdom. Well, I think we have this one now. Funnily enough, I guess we technically didn't even need to do the darks. Oh yeah, we did. We did do some of them, I think. Yeah, because there's if I take away 10, it's 11. So Don't have to do all of these, but you do have to do most of these to get this one. But yeah, we have one more moon we can get with Toadette, and once we do that, we are actually done with, uh, well, the dark side post-game. So let's go ahead and talk to you. You're so accomplished. Well, thank you, Toda. You, you are too, honestly. I think Toda is very accomplished. She's accomplished so much in just being Toda, honestly. But yeah, there we go, guys. That's it. We've gotten every single Power Moon in all the kingdoms and in one of the post-game kingdoms. We're going to go ahead and turn these two moons in. That'll put us at a grand total of 877, which might seem to be a weird number, but it is what it is.